Today I'm going to be installing new shifter bushings into the Corolla XRS. So I have bushings for the base of the shifter and I've got bushings for the shift cables that go to the transmission. Got these both from Monkey Wrench Racing. I've got their part numbers right here. So there's the part number for the cable bushings and here's the part number for the base bushings. No need to explain too much else. This is a pretty basic install so let's go ahead get installed. I can't for the life of me figure out how this shift boot comes out. I don't know what to do here, so I'm just gonna work around it. Uh, you guys in the comments who, who know more about this than I do will probably be able to tell me how this comes off, but I can't figure it out, and I can't really see it online either, so. Oh well, shouldn't be too bad to work around it though. So here are the old bushings. I've dropped two of the rubber pieces in there. Um, I might dig around for them, but not a big deal. I mean, they're rubber, so they're not, they're not gonna make a whole bunch of noise in there if slash when they rattle around, so not a big deal. Yep, I cracked. I needed to take the center console out. I don't know how I was gonna do this without taking it out. So the bushings are installed, they're fully finished. I don't know how much I'm gonna feel the difference though because of this. If I zoom in there, this shifter has quite a considerable amount of play just right here at this joint, which isn't necessarily a big deal to me. I mean, the shifter feels fine. I can shift through all the gears pretty well and it like it feels fine it's just a little bit of play in there so i don't know how much of a difference like i said i'm gonna feel with the new bushings because it has play here it's plastic surrounding that i might be able to push it in a little bit to stop it from moving so much and that honestly might make a bigger difference than the bushings but oh well we'll see so i've tried pushing it down i've used these uh, needle nose pliers i've used a uh, screwdriver to try and push down the plastic uh it just doesn't go down enough to uh, hug this joint here more which is fine. I'm not gonna complain about it too much um, It's just I know where it's doing it and why it's doing it. That's all that I really care about I'm still deciding on whether I want to do a short shifter uh, or if I want to just swap this uh, shifter out for just another stock one because I have one of these shifters uh, for a five-speed which it's not gonna have this the the locking thing on there but honestly i'm not super worried about it i might just go short shifter but at the same time the short shifter is going to come with the bushings that i already have so i don't know i guess we'll see i'm not going to complain too much about uh the shifter it's fine it's not an excessive amount of play it's just a little bit of play so we're good Wow, that is super interesting. So even though, despite having all this play, it is considerably more notchy through the gear shifts. That is so interesting. 
That is very cool. That is very cool. I need to fix something. So when I bought this car, the clock never worked. I just don't have the time to solder the resistors back in. So new clock time. Should legit take five minutes, I think. We pop this up and we got a couple of screws in there as per usual. three o'clock so Good. wait until it turns exactly three it's almost there that's three o'clock there we go this clock looks a lot better than the one i have in the blue corolla that one's starting to dim out a little bit all complete so this one I'll probably you know if I have time at some point I'll take it apart and grab a new uh, or grab a soldering gun and solder these back together and it'll probably work that's usually how these end up dying where should I put this thing glove box sure good enough there we go is so good.